KBGA Missoula, thank you for tuning in to Missing Zhongguo. Today our show has the topic of eating and drinking, so let's talk about it. Mr. C, what role do you think eating and drinking play in people's life and in your life? Well, it's very simple. Eating and drinking plays the role of keeping you alive. The only thing more important is procreation. Okay, so uh, <laughs> mm. uh, what what else can you see? Uh, you know, because uh, in China we have a saying called uh, "people consider food as the." Ha heaven or sky meaning like the biggest thing and also in holidays and festivals a lot of times we have certain food for a specific day so is is that the similar situation here in the United States well food as you know food should be medicine uh, in fact if Americans had that attitude about food we wouldn't need pharmaceutical medicine because we'd all be healthy because we would be eating healthy food but unfortunately in America food is used to I think soothe emotional problems so while it seems like a wonderful thing to eat a gallon of ice cream when you're feeling depressed the truth of the matter is that that's just going to make you worse your mental condition is greatly influenced by your physical condition and your physical condition is completely influenced by the food that you put in your body. We put a lot of bad food in our body. I don't mean to lecture and to be a downer here because I have the same problem having grown up in the United States. But we really need to change our relationship with food I know that doesn't quite answer your question, but uh, what can I say? I, I haven't eaten the right food today, so I, I can't stay on track. Ah, very interesting. So I think you, you, you talk about the health side of food mm -hmm. while I'm talking about the like a social function of it. Right, yes, well we use food for social purposes here as well. and. Just as with alcohol uh, at, at social functions, we serve a lot of, I would say, not very healthy food at our social functions. As a public school teacher many years ago, I used to go to meetings and seminars and whatnot, and they would always have a giant bowl of candy in the middle of the table that everybody sat at, and the uh, table full of food was just donuts and stuff like that. And then I would look around and realize that all us teachers, uh, sh instead of being at a workshop, should probably be in a gymnasium working out. Uh, could that be uh, teachers consume a lot of calories, so they need uh, those uh, input of candies so that they have enough energy to oh, do their job? No, those seminars are so boring that if you don't have a lot of sugar, flowing through your blood you'll fall asleep okay very interesting thank you uh and uh, we will keep uh playing beautiful songs about uh eating and drinking enjoy <laughs>